Okay, so this is ATZ 21 Pro, right? Uh, got it on a tripod, and I got it on the Z63. I got it at uh, 4K60, I think. It's hot out here. It is, um, let me look at the temp. Ah, 92, but it's climbing. So I'm walking around. I just got it on normal stabilization. Uh, if you put on digital and the lens doesn't have the uh, stabilization, then um, you'll get kind of like a wobbly effect. Uh, this is a Sony uh, full frame 24 millimeter. Uh, small compact lens, okay? They made the 24, 40, and 50. Okay, this is a 2.8. I think the 40 and the 50 are 2.5. So how does it look, the stabilization? This is wide enough. This is like your 16 to 50 on your crop at 16. So this is the 24 millimeter wide. This is the Sony lens, okay? It's a uh, 49 uh, millimeter uh, filter diameter. It can go 0.24 or uh, 0.79 feet for it to uh, be in focus. But how do I look? I'm just scrolling. You see any distortion? I got everything distortion on. Uh, you name it, I got all that stuff on. But how do I look? Just a quick video. Um, I think I did this with the ZF. Now I'm gonna go to the front. And I'll show you why in a moment. So this is why I recommend the ETZ 21 Pro. You don't need the cable anymore. You just download the firmware. You put it on the SD card. And then you do a firmware update in the wrench with this camera. And I'll update the, uh, the adapter. It makes things so much easier. So why am I going here? Well, this is a 24 millimeter, but, and uh, let me show you. I'm all ready for my trip. So I got the Q3s. Right now I, I'm gonna do something with the R5 II with the, all the lenses. Uh, let's see. This, I think, is the Z6. See, it's green okay so these are the ricos and these is like the z are x100 v and x106 tripods power bank i'm oh, looking for that i need this but I'm going to go over here and you'll see why in a moment. Open the set. So I got the old ZV-E10, okay? The one with HDMI uh, failed. But I got some cool lenses in here. This is the 10 to 20G zoom lens. There's the 11 millimeter. This is the 28 to 60 full frame, but I'm using the 24. What's this? Oh yeah. So this is the 50 millimeter macro. Okay. And this is a crop lens. Yeah. 
and you can put a filter in there too. So I'm going to try the 11 millimeter and then this uh, 3.5, no it's a 30 mac, is it a 30? Yeah, it's a 30 I think, okay, it's not a 50, it's a 30, but I got the, that's the lens hood. <laughs> well, where are you going to attach a filter to? All right. So here's the 30 millimeter crop, and I'm going to use the 11 millimeter, which I think is right there. I'm going to use these two lenses next. Okay. So I'll be right back. Okay, 11 millimeter. I'm going to wear my hat because it's hot outside. Okay. This is the ETZ 21 Pro. Sony 11 millimeter. And uh, it's at uh, 2.8, but I'm going to reduce it to 1.8. So it's working. Uh, this is for Peter. So I'm walking around. I just got normal stabilization, not sport, and not digital on. Just normal. Okay. How does it look? And I'm working, walking on the ditch. Okay. Is it out of focusing? I don't know. You see, 11 millimeter is wide enough. And I love this adapter. So I can use Sony lenses on cameras. Oh, by the way, this is a Z6 III, okay? Uh, the videos I did was on the um, ZF. You know, with the different adapters. Now with this 21 Pro, you just use the, uh, uh, I've used APS-C cameras with this adapter. It works good, okay? So, crop sensor lenses on crop sensor cameras. Sony lenses on uh, Nikon. They're fantastic. Just use this adapter, you'll be happy, okay? Now I'm gonna change lens again. And I am going to go to what was it? oh the 30 millimeter macro. Okay, this is a 30 millimeter, all right, but it's a macro also. So uh, I'll be taking some um, stills with this. See how good it is. This is a 3.5. Okay, you can still vlog it a little bit, but uh, I would rather use the 24 or the 11 millimeter or the 10 to 20 or the Sigma 10 to 18. Okay, um, I like the 10 to 20 F4. I'm gonna go to uh, Leaf. They're kind of dying right now with the heat, but I gotta put some water on it. Let's see how close I can get. Oh, I gotta get it on the flat. Okay. Is that good enough? Is it focusing? Oh my God. Let's try this one. These are kind of small. I don't have to water it. Let's go over here. Oh, these are still looking pretty good. Now this is supposed to be macro. So I'm going to do a little auto focusing on. See if it changes. I don't know how far I have to be. But yeah. I'm like six inches away. So, so much for the macro. 
and I might have to be like uh, change it to higher so let's see if I go to the highest setting I got 22 there you go you have to go to F22 or, or higher uh, they said um, F22 and 16 are kind of like diffraction F11 is recommended uh, there you go. How's that? That's pretty good. Okay, back to 3.5. Turn this around. So, uh, this is a crop sensor lens, 30 millimeter macro. I think it is anyway. It looks like it. Silver. I've used this on the uh, ZFC. It looks fantastic. I even use it on the ZF. So it's a silver uh, colored lens. I've used it on the A7C. I've used it on, um, of course, the ZVE10. I think I've even used it on the ZVE1. But uh, there you have it. This should end the demonstration on this video. And uh, all I can say is uh, thank you for watching. Remember, stay safe, keep smiling, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye, folks. Have a wonderful day.